The Suicide Squad, of course, saw Task Force X take on Starro the Conqueror. But now James Gunn has revealed in a recent interview that when he was first working on the Suicide Squad movie, he had some original plans that were very, very different when it comes to the villain of this movie. Because his original plan was to have a brainwashed Superman go up against the Suicide Squad, which would have been... So awesome, and we're actually going to be seeing basically a version of this in the upcoming Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League video game, uh, which I think comes next year, maybe, maybe not, but we got the trailer for that at DC Phantom, and it was literally the Suicide Squad battling an evil brainwashed Superman. It was so cool to see, and this would have been awesome to see in live action, although a big complaint I've been seeing a lot lately is that we're getting so much evil Superman all over the place, not only... In DC and various projects like Zack Snyder's Justice League, it just happened in Superman and Lois and also the upcoming Injustice animated movie, but also other characters across other forms of media that are very similar to Superman that are evil characters like Homelander in The Boys and Omni-Man in Invincible. So we've been getting a lot of evil Superman lately, so... I'm glad we didn't get it again in this movie. I mean, as cool as it would have been, especially if it was Henry Cavill Superman, and honestly, who knows if it would have been Henry Cavill or somebody else. I think most likely it would have been. Uh, but I just think this would have been really awesome and a really cool um, idea that, again, I'm happy we got Starro instead. But it also would have been cool to see Henry Cavill battle the Suicide Squad as well. But anyways, guys, this sounds like a really cool idea, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Would you have liked to see the Suicide Squad battle Superman in this movie? And of course, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything that goes on in the DC life.